Okay, we're going to talk today about how to use the database checkpoint to look up legal cases. So I'm going to go to library databases A to Z. I'll just go to C here. There's checkpoint. And checkpoint is an accounting database, generally thought of as a database just to look up tax regulations and things like that. But you can also uh, look up tax related cases, legal cases, which you might be asked to do for an assignment. So I'll show you the easiest way to do this. <laughs> I'm going to X that out because I already had this set up, but I'll show you how to do it one step at a time here. So the search box here, if you type in a search term in here and you're looking for cases, it's really overwhelming because it brings back everything. So what you would want to do first for this is click here where it says sources. And I'm going to go to, um, let's see, federal tax cases. So I opened up sources, you pull down here, Editorial materials, we won't need that for that. We, we don't need news or anything. We're going to go to primary source materials. Then we're going to click federal tax cases. Okay, so we're only going to search the cases. I'm going to type in a, a term that we're going to search for. I'll type in uh, charitable deductions. Something accountants have to deal with a lot. And there might be a discrepancy on. So we have that in there. I click search. Again, we're just searching the federal tax cases. And then these are all cases that come back here. And you see this one, 1992. It's pretty dated. So what I would do is right here. I would pull this, sort this, sort this source by date. Once it goes by date, it'll bring up the most recent cases first. <laughs> Here's one from 2021, another 2021, and you just click on one of these. And um, <clears throat> it's not the fastest database to load these cases. Sometimes I'll have to click on it and then go back and load it again, just so you know, like this one is taking a while. This is taking a while to load. I find this to be pretty kind of the case with Checkpoint. Let me go back. I'm going to go back here and check on it again. Sometimes I'll have to do this and click on it again. And then the second time when I clicked on it, it loaded right away. So if you click on a case in Checkpoint and it doesn't come up immediately, just go back and then try it again. It's just part of the database. So we'll go back to search results here. So that is how you find, that's probably the most efficient way to find cases in, in Checkpoint. And another, another problem I've noticed with Checkpoint, um, something that I find annoying and you might run into this as well is that it's and I find this a lot of times with databases that have a lot of fancy visuals like this on them this is nice but um, this little bar will disappear from time to time when I'm using checkpoint so if if this bar disappears on you because sometimes you'll go in here and you'll set a source you can't get to the source if this disappears on you just click refresh F5 on your keyboard and when you click refresh, see how much it has to load. That's why I don't like it when they go visually fancy with these databases. But there's this side navigate this this navigator on the side here. It, if it disappears, just click refresh on your screen and you'll see it again. Okay, so that's a quick intro on how to find cases in uh, this database checkpoint. All right, thank you very much.